I went to the hair store the day before I completed this look. So this is just some of the stuff that I got. You guys obviously don't need all of this, but this is just some of the stuff I picked up. So I'm starting with my hair flat earned. I got it professionally flat earned. And yeah. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover pretty much this whole video because my last video got copyrighted. And I'm going to insert a pic of what I was going for. So yeah. So as you can see here, I'm just pulling out slash combing out my edges, but I want to be laid with edge control because you don't want to get any guys to be glued on there while you're trying to slick your ponytail back. And I'm just really feeling out and trying to comb through everything to make sure that my ponytail is as slick as possible. So what you're going to see me now doing is still combing up my um, hair into a ponytail, but I'm also going to pull out the pieces in the back because I like the little two curls. And I go up a little higher to make sure that it's longer. Um, yeah, so now I'm taking my Got To Be Glue spray and there's really a method to it for my last video. Hopefully you guys were able to see. It's really important that you don't put too much Um and that you comb it all through because that's when it will turn white and really clumpy and stuff. So you kind of just fill it out and get every area, but try not to go over every area. So I'm taking my hair back out of the ponytail and I'm combing everything through like I was just telling y'all to do. And laying it flat. And I'm going to put that back into a ponytail. So yeah. And if my voice sounds really deep, it's because I just woke up. But yeah, once you got it inside of its ponytail, you are going to spray a little bit more, but it's not that much. Just a little bit, especially in the front. That's where people are going to see the most. So yeah, I'm getting my wrapping um, hair wrap, whatever. Um, yeah, this would have been so helpful in my other video. But yeah, I really highly recommend this instead of like just using a scarf because the heat can get to your hair more. So yeah, I'm wrapping this around the front. And you also want to put one and wrap it around the back because the back is just a support and you want to make sure that that's laid as well. So yeah, you're going to tie this up and then we're going to blow dry this to get that to dry and then you can take it off. So then you're going to take it off and it should be laid, slayed, period. So yeah, it should be laid. Y'all see that, period. You see me. And if you see any white pop up, it means you spray too much. You can take an oil or something and just put it on there. Please do not put water or mousse on there. That will make your hair curl up, which will basically just mess up the fact that you flat ironed your hair. But you're going to see me braiding my hair. Funny fact is I actually added braiding hair at first, but I had to re-record because the braiding hair was just too long and it wasn't enough track for all that. But yeah, you're going to spray your got to be glue and wrap the hair wrap around your hair to protect your hair from the hair glue that I'm about to use.
you don't want to use too much, but like I use like two pieces, I think. But I'm you see me wrapping it back up to get back to the roots because you don't want that touching your real hair. I mean, if it does, it's a little piece. I'm taking this rubber band to kind of secure the top part, but yeah, it's not that important. So now I'm using this hair. Um, this is literally like some type of mixed blend of human and synthetic hair, and it's perfect for ponytails. I'm just untangling it and filling it out now this is where it gets a little tricky as far as explaining um you just take the hair glue and put it on a track and kind of continue to add it um yeah so hopefully y'all got what i'm saying but you just take the hair glue and you're going to start wrapping the track around your little dookie twist thingy majiggy so yeah So as you get to the top, the whole point of this video and like what I'm trying to do is I want to add a blonde streak to like kind of show that honey blonde um, or blonde um, skunk stripe. So I left out the piece that you usually wrap around and I just put a little um, scrunchie around it to section it off. And now what you're going to see me do is kind of measure my skunk stripe, cut it out and take some hair glue and glue it right onto the track. And what this is going to do is it's not going to literally line up, but it's going to give you that streak of your natural hair. So I'm taking this and I'm going to be talking a lot just so that you guys can know what I'm doing. You're going to see me go to the mirror because it's kind of hard to explain and line that up right there. Hold it down. And then I'm also going to put another one on top just so it's not so thin. And then I'm also going to do one in the back because y'all know I have some in the back. You definitely want to make sure it's not too wide or like too long. So I'm going back in and cutting it and then I'm adding that piece to the back. And then after you add that, you're going to take that piece um, that's kind of your natural hair and you're going to wrap it all around using got to be glue spray, comb it through, blow dry it. So yeah, y'all, just make sure that piece was thick enough. I could have used this thicker piece, but it were all worked out in the end. So that's all that matters. So now you're just going to see me like using this got to be glue and just spraying it on that little piece that you, you know, tied around. And then I'm going to put the blow dryer to it just to make sure that that's really secure. So next, what you're going to see me do is kind of comb the hair out. It shouldn't be tangled or anything, so you make sure you're always being gentle. But I'm kind of combing it out so where all the blonde is together, all the brown is together, all the blonde in the back is together. You get my vibe. So I'm just filling it out. And I, at this point, I was really trying to decide if it was necessary to cut it. But it was, and I ended up cutting it. And yeah. And one thing I will say is I did cut it on like an angle. It doesn't really matter if you do like a blunt cut because it's gonna be curled, but I did have problems with curling this hair, so what I suggest is you put a mousse on it, do it section by section, and just flip the ends, kinda, if you get my vibe. But yeah, so y'all gonna see me kinda struggle. Right now, I'm just straightening it out, but you're gonna straighten it out. You could use mousse and then flip the ends, put some rollers on it, so yeah.
Flipping the ends wasn't too, too, too bad, but I really wanted like a curl to it and it kind of made it harder. But like if you want more of a curl, the most would probably be the best suggestion or the best way to go about it. Um, I know you're probably also like, why are you not using a wand? I was using a wand and it really wasn't working and I was really afraid to burn the hair as well. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much my problem with that. It just kept like being so hot, but not curling. So maybe if I use the mousse with the wand method, it'll work. But yeah, to each his own. And obviously some type of moisture helps with this synthetic hair. But like I said at the beginning, all in all, everything came out how I needed it to come out. So um, there's no complaints. So now you're just going to kind of see me like just going over them a little bit more. Like, like I said, like in the end, it's not going to look as, I don't know, like I'm not how to explain it, but it's not literally how the picture looks, but it's flipped at the end and I didn't want a blunt cut. So it looks pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah. Hey y'all, so this is how my hair is looking now. You can see I got like one or two curls and I'm going to do that. It's obviously going to be time consuming. Um, I can say that it's easier for you to do smaller sections and curl it because it's hard. this hair is really hard to take with the curl. The curling one wasn't even working. I had to use the flat one and kind of twist it around. So I'm going to do that off camera and get back to y'all. But for right now, I'm going to go do my edges. And I'm going to put the wrap strip around that while I curl the hair. So I'm about to open this edge fixer up and then do these edges. So now I'm going in with this brand Kiss Edge Fixer. It worked so, so, so well. But we'll see the real results today because today is the next day. We'll see if the edges lift or not or whatever. But yeah, I'm just putting this on there. At first, I was going to swoop it back into the ponytail. But the blonde would have went into the brown. Plus, I'm just feeling the... the um messy edges recently so yeah um yeah so i'm just doing this and you're gonna see me put the hair wrap on it was a used one but it's no need for a new one and um then i'm gonna take some gossipy glue spray um in that section only and blow dry it just so that my edges can like really like not move and stuff so yeah, um, make sure y'all don't wrap up the little piece that's kind of like hanging from that edge. I don't know if that makes sense. And the head wrap wasn't long enough, so I took a rubber band and I wrapped it around. And yeah, that was basically it. Okay, y'all, so that is the end of this video. My face is now done. I have lashes on. If you see this, it's just lip gloss. So yeah. That's how it's looking. Um, the curling part was kind of hard due to the fact that this is synthetic hair, but you can always just curl it when you're going out. It is currently 11.30, almost 12 in the morning, so I'm not about to go in detail with curling it. When I go out, I'll probably curl it again. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully this video will go viral like my previous one. And yeah, if you guys want more videos with the skunk stripe and how I kind of added this in yeah hope you guys were able to understand everything my phone kept dying glitching crashing doing ghetto so no i wasted my money so send me my money back now yeah so the voiceover part i kind of got into detail with but the recording part obviously i was quiet so yeah so Hopefully everything that y'all saw and that was filmed will be helpful. Um, if not, I'll try to talk over it in the voice recording. Love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we're at 700 subscribers. Let's get that to 1K by my birthday, September 21st. Peace out. <laughs>